G'day and welcome back to FNMPN. Friday night, Magic Player Numbers. Today is March the 23rd, 2018. Let's just have a look at what's been happening in Magic the Gathering this week. And yes, I had a haircut. So we're going to start this week talking about a new format that's been announced. Now, with, with the leaks of Dominaria, we talked about it in one of the previous episodes, but they did hint towards a new format coming out. And we found out, I believe just today, maybe yesterday, that the new format is going to be Brawl. Now, Brawl, to sum up, for those of you who are regular Magic players, is standard Commander. Basically, you have a 60-card deck instead of 100. You've got a card pool limited to the standard legal sets. There's a few other little changes. Your, your Planeswalker can be your commander and you have 30 life instead of 40 no commander damage other than that it's it's pretty much standard commander um i've seen people do 15 20 minute videos on this and it's just not not necessary um what do i think about the format honestly i, I think the same as i think about any casual based multiplayer based format in that i'm like eh, it, it'll be a good way for people who don't want to dig into a full commander mana base for one and, and just card pool in general for two it'll, it'll get more people buying packs it'll get edh players buying packs and it's just a, a fresh way for people to play and i think it's just a win-win having a quick look around social media one thing i did notice is is one creator that i definitely respect the the professor from Talarian community college very very negative tweets about the, the subject he basically said who the hell wants to play commander with a smaller card pool the professor did go on to, to go a bit more in detail, realised that he, he didn't really approach it correctly. And while the original tweet has been deleted, the professor has put up a range of tweets apologising for the way he acted about, about this. He Obviously he has a massive fan base, he has a massive following, he has massive influence. And someone with his kind of power can turn people on and off formats without even trying them. So definitely glad that he took the minute to, to rethink his position on that. Hopefully he's going to give it a try, hopefully he encourages others to do it. And while I think, like a lot of the other formats that come and go, it's probably going to be a fad, um, hopefully it gets off and people have fun with it. And, you know, I'd love to hear what you think. Do you agree with the Professor's original take? Is it is it no good? Do you think it's going to be fun? Do you think you might be able to get some more people into a Commander-style game? Let me know what you think. Obviously, the links and all the information about Brawl will be in the comments below. And next thing I wanted to talk about was that we... Got released the art and all the cards for the Jace's signature spellbook. Now, really hoping this is not just Jace. I hope it stretches out to other planeswalkers in better colours. But what I really want to say is the card frames, the art, the new look of these cards, the, the white font. I'd love these cards. Like the J Jace Speller over here, uh, one of my one of my favourite cards in law. One of the I got this guy early. I actually, have all of them signed by the original artist. Good old Alexi. Alexi. I don't know. Um, Great artwork for this card. The, the, a lot of the other cards have new artworks. This is the original, but the frame is just so sweet. Symbol's kind of air, eh. um, but definitely curious to see what our other planeswalkers are going to get in their thing. Probably the thing that really turns me off this, like, again, not a product I'm going to buy. I'm not a supplemental product buyer. I think it looks cool, and I may find some in trade folders to, for collection purposes, but I'm never going to play with them. Um, what I don't like is the fact that you get one random foil. Some of these cards are common, some are uncommon, some are rare level. So some people are going to be getting foil jaces or foil counter spells, while some people are going to be getting foil negates. And that that just doesn't seem fair. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Now speaking of really sweet frames, we've got a good look at the new upcoming FNM promos. God damn, I don't know what it is. I think this is just a sweet art mixed with a sweet frame and just all up a sweet card. Um, be interesting to see what the live foil looks like, but the, the way they've got that planeswalker symbol under the the text just i guess the the i, I don't know there's just something really cool about this frame and i'm really excited to start picking up fnm promos again which obviously that's the other point i was talking about is that they've moved back to fnm promos rather than fnm tokens because what the f it looks like the other promos coming up are going to be opt which is being reprinted there's going to be a new legendary shanna sissi's legacy we'll, we'll talk about that one again in a second um, there's going to be a Steel Leaf Champion, which is the Games Day promo coming up, and the Open House is going to give us, oh, fantastic Lenoir Elves promo. 
<laughs> and on a quick side note, while we're talking about cast down, I think Sylvan MTG has it right here. And people are going to be saying dies to cast down instead of dying to Doomblade or whatever. Dies to cast down is definitely going to be something we use to, to judge cards for at least the standard format moving forward. And while we're jumping back and forth talking about frames, we've seen the new frame for legendary creatures for moving forward from Dominaria onwards. All I have to say is, uh, ill. I'm really not a fan. I, I don't know why the the article we read said that it uh, it's supposed to represent a crown somehow, and I just I don't get it. I don't like it. It looks like some ripped parchment. It doesn't I don't know. People people I seem happy with it, but personally, it's it's just not doing it for me. I, I'm really not happy to see my cards with this frame. And finally, the last thing coming today is today was the first day that Arena was available. Of, and finally, to top it off, the last thing to talk about is that today the NDA for Arena was released. Now, with that, we saw hundreds, hundreds of live streamers, including some special sponsored TCG people from, from Hearthstone, from other games that Wizards really wrangled in by giving them extra packs to come across, as well as pretty much every stream you've ever seen on Magic Online, plus probably another thousand or so, um, just jumping into Arena, giving it a crack, getting in. At some point, we had over 20,000 viewers watching Magic Live. That, that doesn't happen very often. Usually, it's a couple of thousand. So there's definitely some hype building around Arena. Personally, I haven't actually logged in yet. Um, I haven't actually started streaming. I will probably jump onto it tomorrow night. You can always find me at twitch.tv forward slash MP numbers. Um, but obviously, there are also a million other people streaming it. it. Seems pretty solid. I'd love to know if, you, if you've played it yet, if you've watched someone play it, what you think. There's ups and downs. Um, personally, there, there's some things that I would really like to happen. Tap the lands properly, turn off animations, let us customize the backgrounds. Th little things like that, which unfortunately they have said they're probably not doing any of those things. Um, they need to definitely add more voice emotes. They need to fix up the deck building. And of course, they need to add limited because what the hell, why does magic even exist if there's not limited, basically? Um, but I can't wait to get here. I can't wait to have some fun with it. It's, it still looks cool besides those little flaws. We're still in beta. It's, no matter what you think about how it is, it's still at a very early production rate. They're opening up to let people look at it, give feedback, and hopefully get enough people involved that they get the right feedback at the right time and they can move forward with it. Um, one of the controversies is a handful, maybe half a dozen or so, big streamers, people, people like Gabby Sparts and, and some of those Hearthstone streamers like Kriparian, probably pronouncing it wrong, were given extra packs. So normal accounts were given 12 packs plus 10 precons. I think some of those bigger streamers were given, were given about 60 packs, um, which my opinion is that's fine. These, these people are the people that are representing Magic in this online media that we have. They're streaming every day or they're, they're able to stream every day. They're able to bring to bring big audiences in, they're able to to make an impact, to get people talking, to get people to, to create, to, to influence, that's what they do, they're influencers, that's what we do. Um, definitely a lot of negativity, but I think it's it's the right thing on Magic's point of view, they, they want to put them into the right hands, you know, I'm annoyed that I didn't get them, but I, I have 300 followers and I stream once a week, I'm not going to argue, I'm not going to complain, yeah. All in all, I think it's good. Let me know. Have you been in the beta? What do you think? That wraps it up for the 23rd of March 2018. As always, please, if you want to hear my opinion on something, if you want to know what I think about something, if you want me to spotlight somebody, if you want me to have a chat with the creator and see, ask them a few questions, let me know. Hashtag FNMPN. You can use it all through Twitter. Hell, I'll even check Facebook. Um, otherwise, comments section is nice and open. Have a great weekend.